Okay. It's uh, probably about 11 o'clock. I came up here this morning around 7. Set the uh, timing just to check it out, make sure it's setting good, and it is. Took the carbs off. Took the carburetors apart. I bought uh, new diaphragms for them. Put them in a couple months ago or something. But then I went ahead and took the uh, went ahead and took carbs all apart, blew them all out, dried them, cleaned them all up nice. Checked the uh, jets in them, made sure they was blown out and free. Put it all back together. Hit the button, and I told it before I hit the button. I said, "This is your last chance. You either frickin' start, or you are." coming off the table which as we see the table's empty and you are going to the side of the garage where we'll either sell you as is part you out or something but as you see it's at the side it did not start but I will say one thing if anybody would like to buy it <laughs> there are two brand new tires on that sucker never been run I don't think I mean, look at the back one. It's still nice and shiny. It never, I don't think them tires even hit the road thing. It just been, well, my, I think it went to Keith's house once and then come to my house and that was it. So less than 100 miles on them tires. Of course, they'll probably come off if we find something else to put them on. I don't know. It's up to Keith, whatever he wants to do with this thing. But I give up on it. Now, I do know a couple carburetor guys that could probably get it going good, but that costs money, so we'll see what happens, what we do. Next is the uh, 87 or 86 uh, Goldwing. We're going to put it on there next. I want to just get it up to the height where you, know, you don't have to all it bending over. But we're going to start to set a new set of plugs. I got a new battery for it. Uh, stuff like that. and See if we can get her running half decent. And if we can, Keith can have that. I'll just give that to him. I don't care. Give him a half decent bike to ride. Other than the little, well, little one we use for polar bear challenges. Because I know that thing, eh, his is getting kind of wore out. Almost, what, I don't know, 50,000 miles or something he's got on that thing. I don't know. Well, that's what I'm doing today. So now next is try to push this big heavy thing onto that table. And hope the heck it don't break my back. So we'll catch you later. Bye.